Hello and welcome to another episode of Web Learning, where knowledge is shared. In this episode, I'll show you Flow Code 7. I came across it from one of my colleagues, and then I took a look into it and I saw some videos. And this is the first time I'm installing the Flow Code, and I'll give it a try. The Flow Code is a new way to program STM32 and other devices by using Flowchart. So let's get started. I'm downloading the free version. Okay, it took some time, about uh, 20 minutes. Got this error, but I know what I'm doing. It looks like a trusted website, so I'll run. Windows screen prevent authorized, running this at my, okay. Uh, more info, run anyway. I accept. Okay, it finished, it took some time. Let's click finish. So this time I'll use the free license and I'll do a new project. I have the STL0, but apparently they are running the F0, F3. And let's see what else I have. So I found an F3, and this is the F303 Nucleo 32. That's what I found. And let's see, I'll try with the LED, the blinking LED. So output, uh, let's look for an LED. Why I'm getting all the question marks? 8 and pick 16 devices, but this is a... Uh, SD device, LED template, LED, looks like it works. Um, again, output, head, should I drag it? It's a 2D, so this is the LED. If I right click and properties, let's put this on the right side. Why is it not doing anything here? How can I put it to the right? Maybe like this? And then uh, I need to tell it to what port it's connected. Connection. Ah, there it is. So let me bring the schematic for the Nuclear 32. So this is the user manual. And there is the LED 2. So LED 2, it's not the right one. There is the push button for reset. There is the LED. LED 3, it's connected to PB3. B13. So PB3. Three. Okay, so now I need to drag a loop and it's a while one so it will keep on running. We need to turn the LED on and to turn the LED off. Component, that's the component of the LED because this is LED 1. So turn on. Okay, and then I need a delay. I think it's this one. And the delay is for one second and then I will turn it off and I can copy this oh no maybe with the control yes this is my program and if I click on run it does work so on and off this is the simulation I'll stop this and I'll compile it compile to the chip and see how it works yes so it wants to uh, save the software, so I am decided to open a flow code projects folder and call it test1. I'll click save. So I don't have a valid license to do this. Let's see if I can change the license, at least to run it for th 30 days. Click an account. Okay, so it took me some time to register in the website. It didn't support Chrome. But I finally um, registered to the site. It sent me an email. I had to activate the account. I have entered all the information and now it wants me to restart flowchart. So let's try it and see. So now it booted much faster. Let's open project. Let's simulate that the project is still working. Yes. Let's compile. Okay, it says it's finished. I'll reset the board and see what happens. And the um, board is not connected. Okay, it was right. For some reason, the board wasn't connected correctly. Let's try to do it again. Yes, and the LED is blinking. Very nice. So let's try to change this to a uh, more value of 500 milliseconds or 250. And we'll make this also 250. Let's compile it. Yes. It's being programmed. Yes, and it's flashing much faster. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I'll try to load more videos of the flow code in the future. If you have any comments, write them below. Please subscribe so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you.